In Huddersgate, famed for its tram lines, up north where it's boring and slow, Stanley Bagshaw resides with his grandma at number four, Prince Albert Row. Now Stanley was quite keen on football and for weeks he had been saving up because his team, Huddersgate Albion, had been drawn against Spurs in the cup. <laughs> on the Tuesday, Stan queued for his ticket. He was there for a quarter to eight and he thought that he might be the first to arrive. But in fact, he had quite a long wait. When at last our Stan got to the window and he got out his money to pay, the man said, Sorry, son, I've just sold the last one. And our Stan didn't know what to say. Sorry, son. I've just sold the last one, 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 the last one. On the day of the match, it was sunny. Stan watched as the crowds bustled by with their scarves and their rosettes and rattles and said to himself, I won't cry. Meanwhile, Grandma was tuning the wireless. Reg Barber was setting the scene. It's a lovely day here at the sewerage works ground for this FA Cup tie between Clopton Hotspurs, the present cup holders, and Huddersgate Albion, who are a team who just don't like to lose. But, of course, they usually do. The teams are lined up for the photos. Spurs in their crimson and white. They've not lost a game for three seasons, and they look a magnificent sight. And here we have Huddersgate Albion looking possibly rather less sleek. Albion fielding an unchanged side from the one that lost 8-0 last week. And the crowd here, just over 12,000. All Albion fans, it would seem. And as the first half gets underway, just hear them cheering their team. Come on, the Albion! Come on, the Albion! Come on, the Albion! cried Stanley. Come on, me lads. Play real good. The sewerage works ground was quite far away, so he shouted as loud as he could. But after a while, it seemed pointless. The team couldn't hear him, and so he just gazed out the back bedroom window, and the time seemed to pass very slow. Old Nelly came round for some sugar and said to Stan's gran, What's this score? The score at half time, said Reg Barber, is nil nil. So far, it's a draw. Our Stanley appeared in the doorway. Hello there, young Stan, Nelly said. Ain't it nice day for a football match, eh? Our Stanley just nodded his head. But Grandma knew how Stan was feeling, and she said to him, Here, Stanley, look. If you wait by the door, where the players come out, they might sign the names in your book. Now Stanley collected autographs, but so far he'd only got three. His auntie Anne, the insurance man, and his cousin who came from Torquay. But the Spurs players were really famous. Wayne Flackett, he was world-renowned. So, clutching his autograph book in his hand, our Stanley set off for the ground. And here at the Huddersgate Albion ground, there's just 45 minutes to play. <whistles> Albion take the kickoff, and the second half gets underway. The ball goes to Archibald Skinner, who passes it on straight away. It bounces to Fred Potts, the big centre half, a promising move. Oh, I say, he beats one, he beats two, he beats three men. Then flicks on the ball. Oh, what skill, what splendid control. He shoots, it's a goal, and Albion are leading one nil. He's scored a goal. He's scored a goal. You could hear the crowd still celebrating from outside of the Bucknell Road stand where our Stanley was patiently waiting with his autograph book in his hand. Now the changing room door was open a bit and this was temptation to Stan. He just couldn't keep from taking a peep. And that's how the real fun began. The changing room was quite deserted. Stan thought that it looked really weird. 
he went in to explore, but a shock was in store when the substitute goalie appeared. And mistaking our stun for a ball boy, said, Here, son, seeing as you're free, just hold on to me kit for a mo, while I go in there for a wee. I don't think he'd mind, thought our Stanley. If I tried, just to see if they fit, cos it's not very often you find, thought our Stan, that you're holding real goalkeeper's kit. Meanwhile, outside, the tension was mounting. There was only five minutes to go. Could the Huddersgate team hold on to its lead? The Albion fans didn't know. Yes, can they hold out? That's the question. They certainly are on the rack, as the ball is pumped into the six-yard box and Spurs mount another attack. A lovely through ball. This looks dangerous. Can Wayne flack it? Get in a shot. Can he make it one all? He shoots. It's handball. <laughs> the ref points to the penalty spot. Oh, no! Oh, no! And the Huddersgate goalie is injured in trying to save that last shot. He tripped up and knocked himself out on the post. Now Albion are in a spot. Oh, dear. Whatever will they do now? They'll probably bring on the substitute goalie. Yes, the substitute goalie's been sent for to face the penalty kick. But the referee's gone to the substitute bench and is giving the trainer some stick. Ace just disappeared. Well, find him, and find him as quick as you can. The trainer rushed up to the changing room, where outside the door, he found Stan. But being a little short-sighted, said, Stop her. The team's in a hole. You shouldn't be hanging around in here. We need you out there, in the goal. Said Reg Barber. Well, this is a turn-up. I don't understand this at all. But the Huddersgate substitute goalie appears to be just four feet tall. The referee, too, was quite puzzled. And the players were all mystified. The crowd were bemused, excited, confused. Where's Stopper Wilkins? They cried. He's gone to the toilet, said Stanley. He said he'd be back in a tick. The referee blew on his whistle to signal the penalty kick. Stopper Wilkins appeared on the touchline and, being confused, gave a shout. Where's me kit? As Wayne Flackett ran up like an express train and gave the ball one mighty clout. I'm just over here, shouted Stanley, and he gave Stopper Wilkins a wave. And as if it were planned, the ball bounced off his hand and the crowd all roared, Whoa! What a save! The ref blew the final whistle and the Albion players gave a shout. We've won! We've won! Yay! We've actually won! Oh! We've got him knocked top spurs Yay! out! They ran round the pitch shouting, Whoopee! and waving their fists at the sky, while Wayne Flackett, upset by the turn of events, was doing his best not to cry. He couldn't believe what had happened. He just stood there, as if in a trance. Stan noticed the world-renowned player, and he thought to himself, now's my chance. Could I have your autograph, please, sir? He said, in a most polite way, Wayne replied, Listen, Sonny, you trying to be funny? And our Stan didn't know what to say. Just in time for your tea, said his grandma. Fish, chips and peas, nice and hot. Did you get any autographs, Stanley? Oh, er, uh, no, said our Stan. I forgot. 